Here's my collection of projects that I've worked on. And if I want to add in some tags, I can do that using a CMS multi-reference. So here's the project here and here are the tags for the project. Now this looks fine since I'm using circular tags, but what if I want to use tags with a visual spacer instead? Like here, this project has the categories brand, product, and website, and they're spaced out with a comma. So let's see how we can do this in Webflow. When we change our tags to just be text, we need some way to separate out the tags. So let's add in a new text block. I'm just going to hit Command E. I'll add in text block. And I'll just make this comma shift space. Now the reason we're using shift space is if we make it just space, it's going to take away that space that we just added. So by using shift space, we're adding in a visual space that isn't going to go away. Now that's already looking not bad, but since we've added it to a CMS collection, it's adding in a comma for the last item. And we can fix this too. First, I'll give this text blocks a class. I'll just call it project tag text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a color. Even though the color is already there, I'm going to give it a color anyway. And I'll also just change the font for it. Let's make that italics. And from there, we're going to select the CMS item. So I'm going to click on this project tag. And I'm going to change the color to the color that I want to use for the comma. So I'm just going to make it a little bit lighter, maybe about this gray. Now for this last item, we don't want this comma showing. So I'm going to hit drop down here and I'm going to hit the last item. And now for the last item, the color that we're going to use for the typography is going to be transparent. It's going to be hidden. So the reason this works is because I've added a color to this actual text element itself. If I take this color away, then it's going to inherit the color from the item itself. And so we're going to add that color in to make sure that we can actually see our tags. And then the comma is actually pulling from the color of the item itself. And now I can change this visual spacer to anything I want. So instead of a comma, I might want to put a star. I'll do shift space, asterisk, shift space. Or instead I could do a dash. Or instead I could do a bear. Or if I wanted to, even a Lenny. And that's how we can create tags with visual spaces inside of Webflow.